Welcome back to Observer. We just learned who the owner of the tattoo shop is, Jack Carnus, and we learned that there are a tenant in this building at room 210. So, let's go pay them a visit. So that was ground floor, this is floor one, this is floor two. All right, 210, not that way. This way. it over through here? No. Oh. New eyes. A new you. That is such a creepy picture. Looks kind of like they're crying with those... whatever those are. And their teeth are just like a big white thing. Oh, here we go. Oh. Yeah, they're dead. <laughs> they're definitely dead. Another hole in the wall. More blood, I'm guessing? Anybody here? Oh. How was that? Okay, now I'm trapped here. I saw a little bit of blood on the ground. Right before we switched over to whatever this is. This reminds me of Layers of Fear. I haven't actually played that, but just based on screenshots, this is the sort of aesthetic of it, isn't it? What do I do now? <laughs> it's a rack of, of pipes. Just in case you lose one, I guess. Oh. God. This is wonderful. Thank you, Doctor. specialize in augmentation to go beyond our limits to realize our true potential to usher in a new era big words some would say it's all about improving the patient's quality of life some need to think bigger than that our true goal should be to improve all of mankind each subject a step towards that goal by subject do you mean what else would I be? Or were you being clever about my alleged lack of empathy?
I have no idea what's happening. through more frequencies. Is that? It's a power connection. Connected for 16 minutes and 43 seconds, real time. 16 minutes? Am I losing it? 
Already scanned. Focus down. Try to remember. Warning. Abnormal genetic structure detected. This blood doesn't match the victims. Calibrated trace. Calibrating now. Calibration complete. Trace established. Bingo. Strain level decreased. Yeah, I was wondering why we were seeing all these things after just walking into this building. Somehow we just skipped ahead and did all this stuff. So, yeah, no surprise they're dead. Um, it seems like... Carnus was, I guess, like a sociopathic scientist, kind of, just trying to make, I guess, like an evolution of the human species or something. I don't know. Trying to make robots, superhuman, something. And I think it went wrong and, well, disemboweled them. Okay, um, let's, I guess, start from this room. Surgeon's license revoked. But that didn't stop him, did it? Let's look at that later. <laughs> what is that? The Wolfman Revenge. VHS, huh? Pile of just piles of credit chips. Posh pills, not really trendy out here. So I think it just like scanned everything pretty much already, so I don't think there's much to see. High prosthesis. Filtration implant? What does that filter? Like prosthesis. Oh, haven't scanned that. Is that a cane? Regulated materials detected. Oops. A snake headed cane. Probably the victims. Okay, let's take a look at that computer. Reinstatement. Jack, I've always considered you a good friend and mentor. While your teaching methods were sometimes harsh, they also helped me improve as a surgeon. Let me therefore extend the same courtesy to you and be brutally frank. There's no way in hell your license could be reinstated. The accusations laid upon you by the council are simply too grave. I used all of my influence to try and get a motion across, but they still... Uh, they will simply not budge. And after all this time, you're still perceived as a pariah, and the patient's family aren't making things easier. Good God, Jack. What were you thinking? To install an untested prototype in a Class A patient. And for what? Even if it would have worked, you would still most likely be facing accusations of malpractice. Whatever your motives were, I'm afraid you need to accept the consequences. So that must have been the, yeah, the person that we saw them messing with and the, that other person saying like, what, what have you done to my wife or something like that? Class A citizen, not someone you want to mess with. I mean, even me, even um, 
Daniel Lazarski is a Class B citizen. And we have it relatively cushy compared to Class C, so someone with Class A is going to have a lot of, of clout and influence. You deserve all you get. I don't know if this message reaches you, but I hope to Christ it does. It took me a while to get a hold of your current address. We have never actually met, but your actions have forever changed my life. More precisely, they have turned it into a waking nightmare. Thus, I wanted to take this opportunity to show my appreciation. It's been close to two years since the only woman I've ever loved had the unenviable distinction of being placed under your care. And although she has not and will not recover, her current doctor, an actual doctor, mind you, finally managed to stabilize her enough to make her semi-comfortable. Towards that end, he also installed a permanent feeding tube where her throat once was. She used to have the most beautiful voice, not that you care. I've come to know that sociopaths are not moved by the plight of others, even if it is one of their own making. I was never one to harbor ill will or wish poorly upon others, but when I look at the hollow, deformed husk that once was my wife, I am moved to thoughts and emotions I never thought possible. I've attached a photo to this message. I want you to take a long, hard look and know that you did this. I wanted to haunt you for the rest of your days. I wanted to remind you that you're nothing but a butcher, a quack, a callous, empty has-been. I don't know what hellhole you scurried off into, but I hope you die there. And when you do, I hope you rot in hell. It's showing again. Hey, I'm pretty sure it's showing from under the skin. The thing itches like hell and gets all messy when I touch it. Oh, I think we saw the other side of this exchange, didn't we? Saying, don't touch it, I gave you an accelerant, etc, etc. Complications. I'm worried. I'm getting worried about the courier. She doesn't seem to be taking the pressure well. She's irrational, prone to bouts of hysterics. I can't be certain of the infallible nature of my software, as well as your hardware. But the human element, as always, proves to be the weakest link. I wonder what would be more risky. To engage yet another third party, or proceed as we are now. P.S. Thank you for the painting. I'll put it up right away. I think I have just the spot for it. Hmm. So this is from Adam, I think. I can be certain of the infallible nature of my software as well as your hardware. So whatever Adam was trying to do, it was using a combination of Jack Karnas's um, hardware and Adam's software, which I'm guessing resulted in the monster or monsters that have been going around. I think just the one monster. I hope. Unless there's also chair and couch monsters like we saw in those visions. <laughs> the moving chairs and couches. And there's a bigger one too. There was one thing that wasn't a chair or a couch. It was, I don't know, it had like a similar structure, but it was much bigger and wasn't part of furniture. Okay, yes, yes, I'm a sociopath who leaves tapes around very conveniently to tell you my... my... doctrine. My religion, or whatever. So, we're following the blood now, of the monster. Damn, there's a lot of it. Why is my vision all weird? It's all like fisheye. Am I desynchronized? I am. Yes. Synchrony injected. Strain level decreased. That did not actually help, though. Uh oh. 
something's wrong. Yeah, something's very wrong. This passageway wasn't here before. Pulsating sacks of flesh. What was that like? Sort of like a birth canal, I think. Hey, PD. 
I need to ask you some questions. Shh. Keep your voice down. He'll hear you. Who will? The one of many shapes. We don't speak his name. The symbols on your door, what are they for? Protection. They used to keep him at bay, but lately he's been getting bolder. I can tell he's coming for me. It's only a matter of time. Well, there's no one here but you and me. He's always out there, watching, waiting. I won't let him hurt you, if you work with me. I can't. I'm sorry. He'll know. How? He's coming. He's coming. Oh. I guess I didn't move fast enough. Oh, that's... <laughs> it starts me out looking the wrong way. Hey, foggy. In forest. Oh, I'm looping. Made my way back around to the bike. Hmm. Let's go a different way. There's the bike again. And there it is again. Hmm. It's my only landmark. Well, it's in a different place now. It's not against a tree. Don't know what to make of that. Oh, what's this? Hmm? that I just I was able to sprint for a second like right here I can see a slight there's a slight something I don't know if you can see it but there's like the faintest echo of another place oh, I see it looks like I'm here but I'm actually in a different place moving in a totally different place hmm Trying to get it to move somewhere, I can see the re like reflection of it. There, you can probably see it in the tree, right? Yeah, that. Oh, it's a shelf. So maybe I should like look at the ground. Shit, I can't see anything anymore. It's like just here or something. There's a door here, but it's locked. This is weird, but interesting. Okay, where else can I go? Follow the blood. So this way.
Yeah, I gotta like look into the trees. This uh where the hell am I now? I don't see any blood at all. This is bizarre. <laughs> Try going this way. See what we find. Oh, I'm starting to become more a part of this other world, it seems like. Um... Fuck, I feel like I'm about to like switch into the other world at any moment, which would be such a relief, but... It's just not happening. Does that help? That doesn't help. Oh. Oh, here we go. That helps a lot. That's really cool. That's a really... This is a really interesting idea. I can't tell if I'm going around in a circle yet or not. Wait, what's that? That did something. We're starting to like, yeah, yank apart whatever this thing is that I'm stuck in. Piece by piece. Don't suppose it unlocked the door? Is there something else? Oh, there's something else over there. Bingo. So where in the hell are we now? What's my case log say? Just, uh, follow the trail. I'm probably desynchronized, huh? Oh, yeah. Yes. Synchrony injected. Strain level decreased. Alright, I think this is a pretty good place to end this episode. So I haven't been commentating all that much this episode. Um, that's mostly because a large part of this has been kind of the more silly and not very engaging haunted house parts where I just feel like, I'm like, okay, yeah, sure, just run through it as fast as possible, get it over with. But there are some good bits even in this. That whole idea with being able to, uh, like be in two places at one time and you can see little glimpses of the real place by turning on your electromagnetic vision. And just seeing pulses of the world. That was a really cool idea. But uh, yeah, I hope it strays more away from the horror stuff and back more to the glitchy stuff, which is more of what I like. So hope you enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.